welcome to Watch Symposium, I'm Austin. All right, so a little bit of watch spotting. This morning I saw a date just white dial with Roman numerals, had an oyster bracelet. Now the center links were polished, so it must have been a, a new one. Um, and then just on this last train, I saw this. Um, which as you can see is a steel stunner. It's a date just silver dial. Beautiful. Um, I just love that simple steel date just. Although I gotta say, I'd probably go for the black dial. All right, well, let's talk about um, a, couple, a couple topics I wanna talk about. Uh, the first is why I make videos about shiders. Okay, what is this, what is this? fascination with shiders and why do I keep uh, rattling on about them? Well, um, Neuro, uh, one of my viewers and frequent commenters, indicated that I might be trying to convince myself that I went down the right path with Rolex. Something along those lines. Now, this sort of parts of some comments that I frequently see in my most famous video about uh, Squally and Steinhardt and um, I'll put a link in the description to that video. It's my, my most watched video. It's uh, heavily, heavily downvoted, um, but it's pretty polarizing and I get a lot of, uh, you know, comments uh, on that video even though it's kind of old. And one comment that I often get is that and this is not what Neuro is saying, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a, a little bit of a stronger version of what he is saying. Um, it's that I, that I'm trying to convince myself that I, did, that I didn't make a mistake, that I think that I secret, you know, uh, the position is that I secretly believe that I got ripped off and I screwed up by getting Rolex and I'm trying to convince myself that I did the right thing and I'm trying to bring you guys along with me. Well, that's not the case. All right, that's not the case. Uh, let me explain. Now, one thing, I always want to keep this channel really honest as far as, you know, if I screw something up or I make a mistake, uh, you know, I want to I wanna address it. I want to I be honest. I want to keep it real, right? And I think I hopefully showed that when I backpedaled a little bit in terms of Steinhardt, you know? Is Steinhardt a shiter or not? Well, you know, I'm not gonna go into it now, but uh, I don't think it is. It's not on the same, um, you know, level as um, more egregious watches out there. You know what I'm talking about, probably. Um, so I'm, I'm fully willing to admit my mistakes, and I really wanna have an honest dialogue. Okay, that being said, my modus operandi is not to justify what I think are bad purchases purchases on my part. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to. Look, th these videos are not about trying to convince myself of anything, or really convince you guys of anything. Um, you know, the idea that that I'm making these videos to sort of. Um, help myself come to grips with a terrible mistake I made is, well, it's just, it's pretty ridiculous, but it really goes against everything I want the channel to be and everything I want to do, which is, you know, honestly uh, assess watches and good watches and bad watches and watches that I think are ripoffs, and that would be the shiter. You know, I, uh, there's a lot of money to be made and deals to be made not not with me and and not on your typical YouTube watch channel but there's a lot of drinking the Kool-Aid and a lot of uh, you know I scratch my back and I scratch my I scratch your back and you scratch my back and I'll I'll uh, give your watch a thumbs up and a good review and you keep me in watches to review and all that stuff I mean I want to make sure that I'm very distinct from that sort of operation, okay? Um, but, you know, it does, it does uh, trouble me to think that people actually think I would make videos and take the time to do this and lead you guys down 
a BS path so I could feel better about my purchases. That's ridiculous. I mean, I, uh, look, I, I'll just say that I, I am happy with uh, my Rolexes, I can honestly say that. Uh, are there any regrets? Uh, no, but, you know, I might, I might, I might have picked different examples, put it that way, all right? That's another video, but, uh, but do I regret buying one, two, three? No, I mean, uh, I, hopefully that demonstrates that, look, I, I, I guess if you were to believe that it was a mistake, I, well, I'm, I'm not doubling down, I'm tripling down, right? But it's not, I, I really, uh, uh, I think that my, you know, my, uh, my, really in, my real intention in highlighting the shiters and being critical of watches I think need it are that I don't like to see people deceive their trick. That's a, kind of a pet peeve of mine, you know? Look, I don't mind if uh, somebody wants to buy anything. I don't, I don't, you know, look, if you are in the know and you understand what you're doing when you buy, you know, a, a Steinhardt, then more power to you. I mean, it's your money and go for it. But, but what I don't like is the idea that people, you know, watch a YouTube channel to get advice. They're confused. They don't know what to do. They want a good watch. They want to get into watches. And all of a sudden they're led down this path where they're getting this nearly thousand dollar watch. For what? To, to satisfy this urge of something they really want? You know, I don't want people to settle. Okay, I don't think you should settle. I think if you want, if you want an Omega, you got to get an Omega. Okay, and you got to think long term. Uh, do you need to climb the tiers? No. Do you need a watch to sort of figure out what this whole mechanical thing is about? Yeah, that's a starter watch, and I think it should be under two hundred dollars. Um, but you got to think really hard if you want to spend a thousand dollars of your Damn, Omega no. money on a watch that. You know, where's it going to be in 10 years? What, what, how are you going to feel about it? I mean, a lot of these watches, um, you know, thousand dollars is going to deplete, put put a dent in your in your Omega fund. Um, but in 10 years, are you going to are you going to look at it and say, you know, I wish I had the money back? I mean, I, you know, this this watch is a little too expensive to be a beater. Uh, but it, but it. But it just it doesn't do it for me, and I I wish I had the money now. If I paid five hundred dollars for a watch, that's where I'd be, okay. But I paid one hundred and seventy, and so uh, in that sense, my orient wasn't a waste of money. It was just uh, you know it was it it was uh, an experiment, okay, an experiment, and, and a very low cost experiment. Well, you know, a nine hundred dollar watch is not a cheap experiment, um, and. If it's not what you want, if you're settling and you're thinking you're getting that sort of Rolex quality for, a, you know, a quarter of the price, um, that's not the case, uh, and it's not going to satisfy that urge for a Rolex or for an Omega. If that's what you really want, I don't want people to settle, okay? And I don't want people to be led down this road of, of thinking that uh, these are good value watches. And, and again, value is is. For you to determine, but it's easily to lead. It's easy to lead uh, the uninformed down the road of yeah, you know, a thousand dollars is a really good watch. I mean, a lot of people don't know what a good watch costs. You know, four or five thousand dollars. You know, thousand dollars. They think they're probably getting like the top of the line stuff. Um, and uh, what they're getting is sort of, you know, an overpriced watch with with none of the bang and punch of you know, a, a $5,000 watch. If that's what they want, they gotta save for it and they should save for it. Um, if that's not what they want, I, I support their decision to, to, to get these, uh, you know, these, uh, what I would call shiters, okay? But again, I, 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 would, I wouldn't go the shiter route, I would go the beater route, okay? Which is under $200. Um, so anyway, uh, I don't like to see people waste their money, I don't like to see people settle, and I don't like, to see people taken in by some of these companies. I mean, I get I get comments saying that Squale has a, a rich history. Man, I mean, come on, that's that ain't right. And anybody leading them to believe that is not doing them any any uh, service. So 
education, and that's really what this is about. It's not about trying to justify my purchases. I'm, 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 I'm cool with what I did, okay? So uh, hopefully that, that clears it up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.